Hey everyone, welcome back. Tech here with our continuing Let's Play on Crusader Kings 2 for Croatia. And we're going to pick up and get going here right away. Um, on this episode, we will be doing mainly... Uh, there shouldn't be any wars on this episode. <laughs> we'll just put it that way. I think this episode is mainly going to involve us doing some building, some infrastructure build-up in our counties that we hold. Um, looking around at some of our relations and our neighbors, maybe see if we can um, offer vassalization to somebody, kind of take a look at some of the going-ons around us, kind of try to plan out some of our maneuvers in the upcoming episodes. So that is kind of going to be our, our agenda for this episode. So first of all, let's... Let's go ahead and get some of our upgrades going, so then we can start the clock while we look around at some of the surrounding areas. So, um, our main areas that we, the ash holds, is kind of like these five here and Veglia, which Veglia we don't really need to hold because that's. See, we have the Duchy of Slavonia and we have Bosnia. That's part of Croatia. I may end up giving Veglia to my heir to Lucas just to kind of strengthen his, you know, uh, legitimacy prior to becoming king. And then, of course, we hold um, this county up here as so. So, but we're going to do most of our upgrade buildings. I'm not going to do anything in Veglia. I'll let, you know... Whoever I do give that to, take care of that. I'm going I'm to focus mainly on these five. And part of what I want to focus on is more so upgrades that increase levy size and troop uh, build-out. Things like that. Um, rather than, say, like tax uh, income and things. What I would like to do is I want to get my armies large enough in here where when smaller conflicts pop up, maybe with, with small neighbors where if we start getting into trouble, say, with any of these guys over here, or, you know, a small section of one of the other big guys, that potentially I could handle it just with my king's troops and not have to drag my vassal troops into it. Um, unless just absolutely necessary. So, let's look at some upgrades over here. Um, and for people, I don't know if I've ever explained it before, on this screen when you're looking at your upgrades, the way this plays out is, which I'm sure probably 90% of you watching this already know it, but the way this is is the green ones, the ones that have the green background are um, items that are already built, and the arrow allows you to, to then do upgrades, you know, like second level upgrades. And then these ones are ones you haven't built yet, the ones with the hammer you are able to build, and then the ones that don't, that have this little red castle, you can hover over and see, you know, you can't do this until you have a lone sto low stone wall. <laughs> so, let's see, this... Um... Cavalry. Actually, I think I'm gonna do the lone s low stone wall. That gives levy on this one anyway. Um, Okay, yeah, we'll do that. Then Zagreb. Let's see. That gives light infantry and archers, heavy infantry, pikemen, cavalry. I'm gonna do this here. I'm gonna do the little small stable. I want to get some more cavalry in my troops. Let's see, Verzadin. We'll do another small stable. And then... Rama was the last county I took. I don't really... Well... Let's see, that would be levy size and then tax income. Um... Okay, I'll do into their guard quarters there. Alright, we'll leave that. Asura will... Well, I'll go ahead and do the wooden palisade in Asura. It's only 50. That's fine. We're stretching ourselves a little thin there, but... Our income is, what, 9.9, .9, so... I think we'll be alright. Okay, so we got that stuff all underway. 
Um, getting back to with our air. One mistake I kind of realized I did, and someone else had mentioned it, is I probably did make a mistake where I got a little overzealous and married all my daughters off. I should have saved one of them back, probably the youngest one. Um, cause that would have been very helpful in trying to foster some more allies. Although we do have both of our sons, so bringing someone's daughter in to be the queen heir, uh, that should get some good relations as well. Um, and he's 15 now, so about another year, when he gets to 16, that's when the mentoring part ends. And at that point, I'll probably grant him a fife and then and find him, uh, marry him at 16 uh, right away. I mean, I could do that now, but I'll hold off. Actually, let's look at his... What's his traits at? Yeah, see, his traits are looking good. We got uh, humble, gregarious, just, diligent, and kind. So, yeah, he's looking good. Let's look around. Um, let's see. Okay, Ragusa here. I think I have to do something different. Let's see, offer vassalization. He still says no. When we look at it, we're 7, 4, and 8 against. Right? Yep. And when I say that, it's, it's counting the green arrows versus the red minuses. So. And there's really nothing I can do. I can't send him another gift because I already did. That's not going to do anything. Um... And we've been there trying to fabricate claims forever. Let's try switching it up, because we're not that far off. The relations are pretty good, actually. Let's switch it up. Let's, instead of fabricate claims, let's improve diplomatic relations and see if maybe we can work at the other, the other angle and see if we can get that to work. And then let's go around and look at some of these smaller guys neighboring us to see if any of them are targets for vassalization. Well, before you even go into the menus and click, here's a tip for you. As soon as you click on these small ones, if there's anything in this box here, that generally means you can't do offer vassalization because they're fighting. So, these guys are fighting with Bohemia, our supposed buddies. Um, this guy... The Galatian Civil War for Elective Monarchy. Oh. Gallich. I don't know. I think those guys are fighting each other there, it looks like. So neither one of those are going to work. That guy's too big. This is part of that. That ain't going to... Whoa. Countess Sarisha. What the... She's 36. Man, that dude is gold mining. What the heck? Um... Poland is having some issues. They're actually at war with the Bohemia guy, I believe. Um, yeah, he's defending from King Boslav of Bohemia and Prince Nabor. Prince Nabor. Well, this guy here is fighting, too. Hostile towards... Well, this guy's mad at Bohemia. Yeah. Wow. I mean, Poland is just getting ripped right now. So we're going to have to wait and see how that all shakes out. See, the problem that we have here is we have, like, some of these pagan countries all up here who they aren't, they aren't going to be friendly with us. And then we have, you know, the... Uh, mixed in here, we have some of the Orthodox Christians, which they're not really going to be very friendly with us either. I mean, they'll, they'll like us, but it's going to be hard to get really good relations with them. Holy Roman Empire, I believe most of them should really like us overall. I mean, yeah, 46... I mean, yeah, they're all going to... Holy Roman Empire is... It, is fine with us. Um, Byzantine doesn't like us, I don't think, but there ain't much he's going to be able to do about it. Um, he's busy. I mean, he's got 
a couple different battles. He's fighting on two fronts. And you can see that Byzantine, they've, they're they losing a little bit of ground over here, slightly. Um, so it's like, allies are kind of slim pickings. Let's let the clock run a little bit. See if we can get anything to interesting to come around. Uh-oh, I have discovered a plot where Duke Istvan I of just seeks to acquire the Kingdom of Hungary. Our nephew, the spy master. Oh, come on, man. I need you, dude. <laughs> I can't. I need him to end the plot. Um... It's gonna give me the end plot thing. Known plots. Um. Oh, that was the spy master who discovered it. The okay, it was this guy. Who is yeah? That's the guy that took over for. <sighs> Well, this might actually... Hmm. Interesting. This is the guy who took over for... Bella. And we discovered he's got a plot going on. So we could try to imprison him. And we won't take a hit because no one's going to object. And then I can yoink a title from him while he's in there. But then that's really going to send it off the deep end. I can't send a gift to get any more. I can't give him an honorary title. He won't end the plot. Hmm. This is a tricky one because if I imprison him... Things could get really kind of... Hmm. Denmark. Hmm. Um... Interesting. I'm not really, I'm not really sure what to do with him right now. I mean, I really don't like him. <laughs> um. And I spent that money and time to try to get him to not be a problem, and that didn't really work. I think I'm going to imprison him. Or at least try to. Alright, well he's rebelling now. So... Should be interesting. Let's raise our we need him to move quickly. Okay. Mo, don't bother me right now. Time for your stick. Let's see. Um, 
this is going to be interesting. But see, this is kind of some of the things I needed to have my own army at a decent size for. So we're going to go up in here and try to squish this a little bit. And I believe... He's going to lose prestige, and he'll be imprisoned, and then I'll gain prestige. So, same difference is going to work out here. Let's pause this for a second. Yep, that's good. Let me get my Spy Master. I just want to be able to see over there, so I kind of moved him over for that. Um, okay, they can't do anything. My son Justin practically lives in the kitchen, is a little glutton. Um... Games. Yeah, let's get rid of gluttonous. There we go. Tried to catch him right as he was hitting there on the 28th. our steward though. If I remember right, he's pretty good at it. Mm. Maybe I'll give him what I'm gonna take here in a second. We'll see if that works out. Um, I mean, I guess I should go over here and get this one because that would be... Yeah... speed it up so I can get over there quicker. He doesn't have enough troops to do anything, really. Yeah, but I missed a marriage proposal there. I should have slowed it down. Yeah, I screwed that up. I had a marriage proposal pop up from somebody there. That was my beloved sister Cornelia's girl. She's still not married. Well, that might work out. I'll find her somebody here soon. Okay, dutiful cleric. That's fine for now. Unmarried heir. Yep, we'll take care of that very soon. Um. Yeah. Let's go ahead and pause for a second. Man, look at that beard that Lucas is banging. That's what I'm talking about. Grandfather would be proud of that beard. That's what I'm talking about. Um, uh, actually, I'm going to hold off on that for just a second. I can wait for just a second. Let me just see if this finishes once I... um. Let's see if this finishes up here fairly quick. Palace. Oh, okay, so some of our upgrades finished. That's good. Pause for a second, actually. Is... Did that one finish already? Oh, nope, that one didn't finish yet. It was... This one... Um... Do that one, and then Usora. Um, 
be the wooden palisade. Okay. You know what, if he gets those guys together... Hmm. Be almost 900. That could cause a problem. Um... very well. Whew, man, that was close. I barely pulled that out. <laughs> 